In this video we will use external art assets to create scenes in Terra World. For this case we are going to download a nice free package called the Illustrated Nature Sample from the Asset Store to use it for our world generation. Once imported, we are going to create a scene using default low poly style forest template for comparison and further editing. To replace existing prefabs in scatter nodes, go to biomes tab, find a scatter node and change placing item by dropping one of the downloaded prefabs into nodes prefab slot. If your prefab or model needs any special editing, you can do it now. In this case I'm going to increase the scale of imported model. Let's change another scatter nodes prefab to another downloaded prefab. Terra World already comes with an Uber shader, Terra Standard, to cover all effects and features such as snow, wind, and more. If desired, change material shaders from the stock ones into Terra Unity, standard shaders and set properties based on model type. Now let's replace another prefab in the graph and change needed settings to sync with Terra World features. Now that we are all set up with the prefabs and replaced graph items for placement, let's hit the generate button. Great, now we have a world using newly imported models and prefabs. At any time, you can change scene mood and atmosphere by going to the VFX tab to for example change time of day, atmospheric fog, sky color and snow distribution. The wind and snow effect on placed models can be set globally in the VFX tab. You can always go back to all graph nodes settings and change it to your liking. For instance I'm going to increase placement density and LOD distances for rendering and generate level again. Also even after world generation, you can find created layers in the scene hierarchy and edit them as you wish which is independent from graph nodes and Terra world window. That's it for now, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel to see more of this content.